Reusable flows are used to save sets of steps that can be plugged into any of your tests. First, you'll have to create the flow. Click the Flows button and select Insert Start. Give the flow a name and click OK. You'll see a purple step indicating the start of the flow in the trainer. Add the steps you want as part of the flow. When you're finished, navigate back to the Flows button, click it, and select Insert End. You can then continue training the rest of your test and it won't be included in that flow. To make navigation easier, you can click the arrow to the left of the start or end flow steps to shrink the flow to a single step in the trainer window. When you finish training the test and saved it, you'll be able to see the flow in the Mabel app. Click on the test section in the left nav. In the top nav, click on flows. You can see all the flows you've created here. If you see a flow here, you can reuse it in any test. And if you click on their names, you can see what tests they're used in and the steps they take, as well as their history. When training or editing a test, click on the flows button and select import flow. You can select any saved flow and add it onto the test. If you edit the flow during the test training, however, you'll also edit that flow in any other test that uses it. You can create a local copy of a flow and edit it just in the test by deleting the start flow step. The steps will change color and become normal steps, which you can edit without changing the flow in any other tests. In the next quick start video, we'll go over how to replay and edit tests.